Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Shoe Snob unboxing videos, One Take Wonders. Here we are with a very prominent, famous brand that probably most of you know. And for those of you that don't, I'm sure you've been awaiting some kind of review of their shoes so you can get to know them. Let's jump straight into it. The brand today is Carmina. For those of you that don't know, Carmina is one of the most famous Spanish shoemakers hailing out of Mallorca and who have been at this for quite a while, have family rooted in shoemaking going back quite some time. And yeah, finally, I, uh, I got a pair to show all of you uh, and to put my thoughts and opinions on them on top of that to announce a special collaboration with the very pair that we will see inside. So, first things first, the box is beautiful, kind of a rich burgundy color, um, very durable, very well made, nice textured paper, uh, beautiful box. Mine doesn't have any kind of stickers on it. I did a made to order, so I presume that a normal customer, obviously I'm not a normal customer, Carmina is one of my supporters, uh, one of my longest supporters. And so they didn't put a sticker, but I do know what's inside, so let's take a look. Got a nice red line in there on the box. Very strong, very bold. Packaging comes nicely presented with the Carmina bags facing outwards. Got two red felt bags. Uh, unlined, nice material, nice drawstrings, pretty long shoe bags, fit a size 15 in there. Uh, we got, now we got good packaging, got nice foam dividers there, which is helpful when shoes are heavy, especially when they have shoe trees in them. That is important. There are no other goodies in the bag, but, and I'm not sure if that's normal. I know obviously this is not the normal situation with me unboxing, so I'm not sure if you get anything else, but let's take a look at the shoes, which are more important. The shoes did come with a very nice set of shoe trees though. So let's just quickly look at those before I jump into this. And I do believe these are lasted. Uh, very nice pair of shoe trees quite solid so not not uh they're not lightweight um these are very solid what appears to be you know i, I won't even take a guess with what kind of wood this is because i'd just be talking crap uh i'm not an expert on wood but very solid nonetheless nice logo lasted i got the simpson last that's the simpson cut shoe tree all right let's stick those back in and get on with this so Man, <clears throat> I had the option to choose whatever I wanted. And let me tell you, that wasn't so easy. <laughs> when you're faced with, with thousands of color choices and combinations and models, really trying to narrow it down uh, is not so easy. I knew that I wanted this model. This model is one of my favorite by Carmina. Very unique, very beautiful. I've always admired it. They've always kind of shown it a lot in a Cordovan, but I'm not the biggest Cordovan lover. Um, uh, so I wanted to get this and do something playful. Obviously, I want to be unique. Um, naturally, I love burgundy, so I went with a burgundy option. And I was thinking about summer, my summer wear. I love suede. I love two tones. I love mixing things. This is kind of like a... I don't know, like a snuff suede, but not quite snuff. Um, not a tobacco, but you know, a little bit lighter than a snuff suede, so to speak, but a beautiful shade nonetheless. And I thought this was kind of, you know, Gatsby style, kind of like how I like to dress. Um, obviously not today, I'm just born in a white shirt because it's so hot. But uh, yeah, so. The model, I don't know the model number, and again, I didn't have any insignia on it, but it's their famous uh, single monk with the hand stitch apron and a split toe. Beautiful model, my favorite. I went with the Simpson last as I really like the shape. On top of that, the Simpson last is narrow, and I have a narrow foot, so it fits me perfectly. Uh, so 
in all my other unboxing videos, in almost all of them, you always hear me say I took a UK six US seven UK six and a half US seven and a half. But in the case of a narrow last, I take my true size, which is a UK seven us8 and that's what i took in these and they fit perfectly so bear that in mind if you're ever going for the simpson last uh know that it's a narrow last it's not gonna probably fit you in your standard size unless your standard size is narrow so if you're a narrow uh eight narrow nine narrow whatever stick with that if you typically wear medium shoes and the majority of brands, I would probably half size up. Otherwise, you're gonna be quite tight in there. So, Carmina, let's just quickly touch on the quality before we get to the surprise collaboration. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Carmina is hands down one of the better shoemakers in the world, uh, especially for their price point. The workmanship is flawless. The finishing is top notch. Um, I mean, I'm trying to find a defect for you just to show that I don't just promote <laughs> my advertisers, but if there are no flaws, I can't really create something, you know? Sometimes there's just great shoemakers for great values of money, and that's just the reality. Um, oh, okay, well, you know, somebody picky might, you know, think, oh, the little color job there is a little off, but you know what? This is a crust leather. The color is going to be created by hand at the factory. And, you know, when you have humans involved doing things with their hands, mistakes can be made. Other than that, the shoe is flawless. It's perfect. Um, there's nothing to point out besides great craftsmanship, great design. You know, again, that's what makes Carmina so good. That's what makes them famous. They give you a solid shoe at a great price and it's hard to beat. Um, there's only one thing that ever made me curious is Carmina always puts a, a, a straight waist on the outside arch. I always found that interesting because I, I thought, you know, with their level of detailing, they would have matched the inside arch with a bevel. Um, that's the only thing, I've never talked to them about that, but it's the only thing that always made me curious. Uh, nonetheless, the finishing is great, the shape is great. You can see the balance of that last, it's beautiful. There's no toe turn up. There's just the right amount. You should be able to, the, the rule, according to Tony Gaziano who taught me, you should be able to just barely slide a pen, like a, a ballpoint pen, like a Bic, under the toe. And, and just really to get it right underneath and that's it. Anything more than that is too much toe turn up. So my finger is thicker than a ballpoint pen. This would have passed the test perfectly. Great shape, great balance, um, flawless finishing. They have great uh, SPI, stitches per inch on the sole well. It's nice and tight. They have a very clean fudge wheel. It's so fine. Um, and it can sometimes go unnoticed because they do a different detail on their sole finishing there's a machine or a tool that basically flattens this out to make it have these little sharp edges there so normally when i was making shoes by hand you did the fudge wheel all the way around and then you use that machine to basically flatten that out um and it creates these little sharp lines here i don't know if you'll be able to see it but uh that's their level of finishing which you honestly see in a lot of bespoke shoes so uh, great work by Carmina. It's easy to rant and rave. Well, it's easy not to rant. It's easy to rave about how good these shoes are. The soles are really nice. I'm pretty sure they're using JR soles. They don't have the logo embedded here. To be honest, I don't blame them because I wouldn't either um, if I use them. So soles are solid. They got nice little five nails on the toe there, which help with not wearing down your soles prematurely. Again, Carmina's Carmina because they make a great product and they do, they make a good price. The shoes are solid, the shoes are well made, the finishing is flawless, the leather looks beautiful. I don't see anything, anything worth noting in reality. 
Uh, the fit was really good, at least for me. Again, being a narrow foot, the Simpson last fits me great. I can't speak to all their last as I haven't gone and done an in-depth trial fitting of all of them. But uh, yeah, Camino Stands is one of the greatest Spanish shoemakers ever known and to this day. It goes without saying why. The shoes are just wonderful. Uh, their pricing is very competitive, extremely good. Um, to be honest, there are shoes made uh, of lower caliber with much higher prices. So, you know, it's no wonder that people flock to Carmina because in essence, you're getting great value for money. All right, now let's announce something different. This is gonna be a first for me. Uh, and I hope all of you kind of like this. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see the results, but Carmina thought it'd be cool to basically run a GMTO on this model. For those of you that also like my bold styling, I know this is not, a, this is not your common typical shoe. You really got to have all your other bases covered before you even think about something as daring and unique as this. I mean, I'm not going to say it's crazy bold. These are quite toned down colors. The burgundy is soft. It's not bright. The suede is muted. It's not flash. But if you like this shoe the way I do, uh, and you like wearing, you know, those kind of summer colors, that's a great model to grab. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you're going to have any kind of sole choice uh, excuse me, last choice options as I'm making this video before the GMTO is going up. But by the time you watch this video, the GMTO will be up. And if there are other options, I will confirm it in the text associated with this video below. So do stay tuned for that. Do read that below. And if you like this and you want to grab this shoe, do head over your way to Carmina's website, also linked below in the text. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing how many people enjoyed my idea. Maybe none, maybe 20, maybe more. Um, it'll be cool to see nonetheless. I hope, uh, I hope this is something you guys enjoy and appreciate. And it'd be cool, you know, if I started to do this more often in actuality. I think it'll be something I pitch to, to future makers. Uh, again, here, just give you a nice, nice look at that model. So you can really appreciate it. Beautiful shoe. Head to Carmina now if you want to grab your pair. And again, thanks for tuning in. Do make sure you share this video. This video is obviously unique now because it has an offering with it. Share this video, like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you just know my unboxing video series on YouTube but don't know my blog, do check out the blog at www.theshoesnotblog.com. I wish everybody a great day. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.